Hi, this is TJR for Music Worth Buying. And I know it's been a little while since I've done any solo reviews here on the channel. Uh, this is because some changes in my personal life have made it very difficult for me to do so. But last weekend, uh, two songs were released by two very big chart-topping female artists. And I got the chance to hear them both and felt a need to comment on them. Now, the first one is Hello by Adele, whom everybody in the world knows. And, and the second one is Bad Idea by Sarah Barry Ellis, who most everyone else in the world knows too. Now, um, uh, full disclosure here uh, before I begin. Uh, like everyone else in the world, I did listen to Adele's mega hit selling album, 21. Uh, unfortunately, unlike most of the world, I found the album to not be terrible, but was just simply not my cup of tea. But I do want to state that I really did uh, enjoy the album's two hit singles, Rolling in the Deep, and rumor has it. I found both of these songs with their nods to classic Motown to be instantly likable and both to be instant classics. So I do need to state that my reaction to these two previous singles by Adele do affect my reaction to this latest single entitled Hello. Now, Hello is for me just a standard ballad with nothing uniquely melodic to raise it to the level of say a song like Rolling in the Deep or Rumor Has It. I realize that right now there are some Adele fans who are going to take this criticism very personally and feel that I'm criticizing her vocal abilities, but nothing could be further from the truth. Adele sings with great passion and conviction on Hello. The production on the song is absolutely pitch perfect, but neither of these things can hide the fact that this is just a standard ballad following a standard melodic formula. And it's a shame because after songs like the previously two aforementioned hits, um, I am just spoiled and I expect better. But in spite of what I say, there is no doubt in my mind that Hello will get a lot of radio airplay. Its formula is perfect for radio. And in case you're wondering, I did not watch the video that was released at the same time as the actual single. And the reason being is that I wanted to judge the song on its own merits. I wanted to just listen to it as a song without any visual images distracting or influencing that. Now, the same holds true for my review of Bad Idea by Sarah Barry Ellis. Prior to listening to the song, I was unaware that uh, the upcoming album that this single is released from features Barry Ellis performing songs that she wrote for the musical The Waitress. So I am re just reviewing this song on its own merits as a pop song with no context given to its place in a larger musical. Now, with its rollicking piano rhythm and syncopated vocal melody, Bad Idea is instantly likable and becomes more so with each listen. At just under three and a half minutes, Bad Idea does what all classic songs do. They get in, do their job of lifting you out of your world and putting you into the world of the song, and then they get out before they overstay their welcome. Bad Idea is a story song that conveys its story extremely well. And you may be saying to yourself, well, no, duh, the song is from a musical. But then once again, remember my review for this song and my thoughts on the song were summarized before uh, finding out that this was from a larger musical. So I stand by what I say. And having said all this, I also want to state that I think that a lot of today's contemporary pop songwriters should study song structure for musical theater. I think there's a lot to be learned by how these songs are structured and by how they convey what they are trying to say to an audience. As a piece of pop music, Bad Idea feels very crossover to modern country until it unexpectedly breaks down into a lush vocal harmony ensemble that keeps you from easily pigeonholing it. And did I mention that Jason Mraz is a featured guest vocalist on this track? Now I'm sure that everyone on the planet has heard Hello by now, but if you haven't heard Bad Idea yet, I do recommend that you go listen to it as soon as possible. And remember, if you disagree with me, this is just one person's opinion. It's not worth getting worked up over. For Music Worth Buying, this is TJR. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the channel.